Hi, so here we are with the electric MTD conversion using a winch in the back. As you can see, we've got a pretty decent load of gravel. I'd say we're probably pushing somewhere in the 200, 250 pound range. And we got John up here. So what we're gonna do is reach in underneath the hood and pop the ignition switch here. So we're gonna pop that and then if we come around, John can set it in forward. Yep. And then give it a push on the pedal. So one thing we definitely have figured out is there's definitely a distinct difference between how fast it'll go with John on it versus my 200 pounds. But it definitely has the towing capability. Okay, John, I want you to go down through and pull over the top of where Potato and I just dropped stuff. So certainly not fast, but definitely has the torque. Should be able to pull down through easy enough today. Mm -hmm. Okay, John, pull right here. Whoa. Okay. So, we're gonna set the camera down. Right about here, I bet. All right, so what I'm gonna have you do, John, is I'm gonna set this up, and then I'm gonna have you drive a straight line down the edge right here, okay? You got it? Okay. You wanna have a soda after this? If you put it in the middle, it's gonna roll. You gotta put it in gear, put it in gear. Yep, you got it in gear now? That is one thing that we ended up discovering, is that if you pop this into neutral, it will immediately start rolling downhill, so you gotta be holding the brake, but John's not large enough to. But, if he pops it into forward or reverse, the winch motor pulls back on it, and it stays like a brake. Okay, go ahead and start driving forward. Whoa, slow down, slow down, slow down. Not so fast. Okay, get going. Nice and slow, pay attention where you're going. Slow, 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 slow. You know how to feather the gas pedal. Yeah, there you go. Okay, stop, slow, stop. You gotta reset that trailer. Okay, and you gotta aim down the driveway, not the center of the driveway. a Yui and then come back through and run over these piles so that people can see you flex over the top. There we go. Take it back up to the garage and park it. So as you can see, we were able to go and haul some gravel down through with it. It's slow, but 
part of the nice thing about being slow is that its gear ratios are really really strong and torquey we're gonna probably do some mods to it i found a couple of bike motors that might be possible a lot of people want to see a golf cart motor put in it but i think a golf cart motor at this point is just way overkill for the f and r transmission um the guys that build mud mowers will tell you these F&Rs just don't hold up to the horsepower.